Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we had a great question. Somebody wanted a coming soon page. They've got an existing site up. And they wanted to have a page where the menu wasn't available and there was a countdown to let them know when the site was going to be back up again. So we've done that for them. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to go up. I'm going to create a new page. We'll give the page a title. I'm just going to call mine See Soon. Now here's the important part. What you need to do is once you've put the title in there, go over to the right hand side here. You need to have the page tab open. And in summary, if it's not open, click the little chevron to pull it down. We can go to template where it says default template. We need to click the little drop down there and change that to blank page. That will ensure that we've got no menu on the top of this page so people can't navigate to the other pages on the site while we've got our coming soon page up. So make sure you do that blank page template. That's really important. Once you've done that, you'll see blank page up there. We can go ahead and use the Divi Builder. Okay, I'm going to build from scratch. You can choose a pre-made layout if you want to, but they're really easy to do pre-made. I'm going to put a single column in. I'll keep this fairly simple today. I'm going to use a blurb so we can use an icon and a bit of information here. And we'll say site coming soon or whatever it is you want to say on yours. I'll leave that default text in there. If you want to give them some info, you can put it down here. This is a regular text field. You can align, make headings, bold, italicize, bullet lists, and add media if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Rolling down, image and icon. I'm going to use a little icon. Or you could use for your image, perhaps your logo if you wanted to. Let's use a clock. And there's an awful lot of icons to choose from here. They've just teamed up with Font Awesome. If you need to look at them all, there's a little button there. It'll give you a breakout box, box, which makes it a lot easier to scroll. And there's a lot of scrolling. Like I say, there's a lot of icons. But I'm going to use a clock for mine. Simple one like that. I want my content here to be spread out throughout the whole of the row that it's in. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Design going to go down to sizing and with a blurb the content width is set to 550 I'm going to make mine 100% so I'm simply going to type 100 and the percentage sign there we go that's better okay I also want my text in the middle so if we roll back up a little bit I can go straight to text up here and align it to the middle I'm going to turn it a different color in a minute but we'll come back and do that when we've got everything in place next I want to have a little countdown timer. So I'm simply going to hit the dark button to add a new module. Green button to add a new row or blue button to add a new section. I'm going to keep this all in the same section so we can make a full height section. For this, I just want a countdown. There we've got the countdown timer. Now here you can choose your date, obviously where you want it to count down to. You can change the hours and the minutes down here. So you can count down to a specific hour or even minute if you want to. I'm going to leave mine on the default there again. I'm not going to use a title for mine because I've kind of got a title up there. So I'm simply going to delete that. I think I'm going to change that background color to a black. I'm under the content tab. I've gone into background. I'm going to select black. But because I'm going to have an image behind here, I want to see a bit of that image through it. So I'm going to take the opacity, this variegated slider on the right here, down. And to get to it, all you do is click on the color, click on the field, and there you'll find your little opacity slider. And we can readjust that if it's not showing it enough through there when we put the image in. Great. Okay, so we've got our title and a bit of blurb content. We've got it counting down. Perhaps people might want to ask questions. So we can add a simple contact form and just collect their email and name. So they can be notified when the site's actually live. So to do that again, I'm going to hit the little black one or little dark button here to add a new module. 
This time I'm going to add a simple contact form. It comes with a name, email, and message field. I don't really want a message, just want to be able to collect email, name, and address. What I would like, I'd like both of these to be full width. Simply select either of them, little cog. Once in there, go over to design, layout, make full width. Save that, it'll take us back to the main contact form settings. We'll go into the next one, design, layout, make full width, fantastic. Great, well that's working fine. And we've got a little capture down below there. Great, and we'll save that one. Now might want a little title saying need more information or something like that. We can do that back in the main one. If we go to content down below, we've got title right here. Whatever you want to say there. Success message. So what's going to pop up when the message is sent? Or whatever you want to put there. Submit button, I'm happy with it to say submit, but if you want it to say something else, you can put it in there. And of course, the important thing is the email just down below here. This is where the message is going to be sent. So me at my email com. Great. Don't want to re redirect. A little bit of spam protection in there. We've got a basic capture there. Works quite well. If you want that, great. You can leave it there. If you want to take it away, you can go down to spam, spam protection here. Use basic capture, turn it off if you don't want it there, leave it on if you do. Or you can add a third party service such as Google Recapture by putting your API key in there. But I'm going to leave mine just like that. Great. Well, let's save that. We've got our basic information now. We've got a way of capturing the actual name and address if we need to. Let's make this a little more interesting by having an image background, a full screen, full width image background. First thing I want to do is make sure this section covers the whole of the height of any screen that it's on. So I'm going to go into the section, the blue tab up here. We've got blue for a section, green for a row, dark for a module. I'm going to go into the section under the content tab. And this is always where you'll find background. We can go to the background. We've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. I'm going to pop an image in there. Grab whatever image it is you want. I guess I'll use the same one as last time. And at the moment, this is only stretching so far down our site here. I want to make mine the whole of the screen on any device like I said to do that let's go into our design remember we're in the section now I'm going to go down to sizing in the height I'm going to write 100 VH for viewable height 100 VH as you can see we're now full height on the screen with this section that's great some of our writing obviously is getting lost in this image I'm going to make that writing white, but another thing you can do is kind of darken this image down if you want to. While we're in the section, if we go back to the content and the background, we can blend an image or a gradient with it. So let's perhaps put a gradient in there. I'll add a gradient. Let's perhaps make it purple on the top. And on the bottom, I'm just left clicking to change the color here. I'm going to make it actually black on the bottom or oh, pretty close to black. Let's just make it not quite black just dark now you may have noticed that you can't see it or you may not have noticed because you can't see it but there's no gradient what we have to do now is go to our image make sure that your parallax effect is not on there's no point in having a parallax because we're full screen with this section anyway roll down a bit and you'll see image blend if you click on that you can multiply the gradient or a color with it once I do this, you can see it darkens it down. If it's not quite what you're looking for, there's all kind of different options there. I think let's go to, we'll try luminosity. That's always a nice one. Works for me. There's fantastic things you can do with these, so do try them out. That's looking good, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And let's go and adjust our colors and things here so we can actually read the text because that's getting completely lost up here. So I'll start from the top down. I'm going to go into 
my blurb settings over to the design image and icon I'm gonna make the icon white that's great and let's make the text light in color as well still in the design close up image and icon text where we aligned it to the middle I'm gonna change it from dark to light there we go and that title that's a little bit small for me so I'm gonna bring it up in size just down below we can do them individually I'm gonna make mine bold and I'm gonna bring it up to say 40 pixels you can type it in slide it in any way you want great we can see that nicely now let's move on down and we're just missing a little title there I'm pretty happy with the way the actual countdowns displaying there so let's go in to our little form here and again I'm gonna go over design and text I want it in the middle and I want it to be light in color so it's only the title text and as you can see as I have put that in there I'm doing all the text at once the fields have gone to the middle as well which is just what I want but I want my title text to be white in color and I think I'll bring it up to maybe 32 pics or something like that just so it's a little bit bigger great the only thing we need to do now is there's a sum there 1 plus 14 or whatever it is you can barely see it that's the capture text if we roll down a little bit more just underneath I'm gonna make that white great you can see that a lot better and the button there all I'm gonna do is make that white too obviously you want to spend a bit more time on your styling than I've done here I'm gonna keep it very simple because the styling's up to you I'm using use custom styles for button I'm switching the button to yes and all I'm gonna do is make the text white so that button stands out great well, we've got our page now but of course when people come to the site this is the page that you want them to see so we need to make sure that it's published hit the little purple button and you'll find save draft or publish make sure you've published it or we can't set it as the home page once published let's exit the visual builder make sure it's going to work now what we need to do is set it to, as the home page to do that let's go down to the dashboard and we're going to go down to appearance and then customize that's going to bring us here to our original home page if we look down here we've got home page settings and we can set whatever page we want as the home page here now we called that see soon I believe there it is and there it is there's our little countdown timer as soon as you're happy we'll hit the publish now when we visit the site instead of the home page display if I refresh this now and that's going to bring us to our coming soon page here and as you'll notice there's no menu up there so people can't navigate to your pages while you're building the site we've got our little countdown we can collect their name and email address and we've set this as a home page so I hope that's answered that question I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful today if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day